Okay guys, in this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to get Portable StarCraft LAN Edition. And this does not come with Campaign or Battle.net. So, you're going to go to the link in the description. And then enter in the letters here. Yours will vary from mine. Then you click download file, and I put it in wrong apparently. There we go, and then you're gonna wait 45 seconds or 25 seconds if you have an account. <coughs> and once it's done, you click regular download. And if you have any ads, just close them out. And then you're gonna open it up with WinRAR. Load this download. Once it's done downloading, you should get a pop up like this to extract it and extract anywhere. I extracted it to the desktop and then you can open up the folder and as you can see um, it's not that big of a file it's only about 55.7 megabytes and it does have all the stuff you need maps and you can download more and, and put them in the download folder and there's nothing in the brood war because there's um, I don't this doesn't come with the brood war expansion and replays and saves don't actually work so don't actually do that it won't do anything so now I okay, guess so you're gonna start StarCraft click run and then go over to multiplayer um, click StarCraft original because there's no brood war expansion and there's no battle.net and you can choose local area network IPX but most people have local area network UDP so I suggest using this one Okay, and then choose your account, or create a new one, create game, choose, I'm going to choose any map right now, and then click OK, and then you can play against the computer, or if you have a friend at your house or something, he'll join in, and the game will be like, uh, he'll be like right here, and the game will be under your ID, so mine's Fozzy13, so you'll see it as the game name as Fozzy13. Then click OK. And as you can see, it's pretty much like regular StarCraft, except it's a lot smaller and there's no multiplayer at all. And you have uh, everything regular StarCraft will have, except you can't save the game or save a replay. So like your game's over and you can't save a replay as far as I know because um, it doesn't work. So yeah. And as I said before, battle.net doesn't work. Um, if you start it up, it'll say battle.net was able, unable to identify your application version. Uh, it's just uninstalled and reinstalled. And yeah. So it doesn't work. And campaign editor does not work as a StarCraft cannot locate the campaign editor. You will need to reinstall StarCraft to access the editor. And if you click single player, and then you click StarCraft original, it's gonna crash your game. And as you can see, the game crashed, and now we're back outside here. And um, if you change this name, it's just like say like StarCraft. It's going to give you an error. It's going to say error, could not find data file, so leave it as StarCraft or Portable StarCraft LE. And that's pretty much it. Have fun with StarCraft, guys.